Hello, cutie. She comes with history. Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. Hello, Playbill. Oh, look, I see West Side Story there. Did you play Bernardo? I played Pepe understudy Bernardo. There should be a rule that um, that understudies get to play the, the part at least once. Right? I think it's important for you. I mean, you're not there for nothing. Little Puerto Rican girl whom nobody thought much of at MGM with a contract. A pleasure talking to you. And let me tell you, this film is incredible. And like you say in the film, what a journey. Um, yeah. let, let me ask you, why was it important for you to tell this story, your story, in such a candid and open way? Well, candid and open is the only way I would know how to do this. And I did make a promise to myself that if I was going to do this, I had an obligation and uh, I had a promise to myself that I had to be as truthful as I could be. There may be some things I left out, but if I did, I promise you, it was not deliberate. And I think everyone knows that. And I think what turned out to be surprising to me is that's the thing that almost everybody loves the most about the uh, documentary, that it's so honest and that there's no bullshit. It is, you know, what I say is, is. And uh, that very often is inspiring to people because they say, well, geez, you know, it, it may be hard, but it can be done. And, uh, and she did it. Why can't I do it? And that's what I hope. And that's the effect. Actually, that's what's happened a lot. You'd be surprised. We always have to prove we're worthwhile. That's a lot of work. At 87, with a hit show and a movie in the works, it's a remake of West Side Story with Latino actors in the lead role. If we thought there was no place for us in this world of the arts that we wanted to get into, we could look up and see Rita and say, OK, well, she could do it. How close can I get? What advice do you have for us, the Latinos who've moved here from other countries and are continuously fighting to be seen and heard. That's exactly what you have to do. You just you just fight it out. And I don't mean that in a violent way. I mean, you have to be absolutely stubborn and say, if that's how it works in this country, I'll find a way to deal with this, but I have to deal with this. I'm not going to cower and hide in my apartment. Uh -huh.